I'm Rod Serling. You're listening to The Zero Hour. Rest your eyes. Exercise your imagination. Today, Kim Weisskopf's audio glimpse of the mayhem on the midway. The price of admission. Starring Mel Torme. In a mutual broadcasting system presentation of... so often happens when one goes looking for something, you find something else. Feature writer Kirby West is about to find the unexpected. For Kirby West, the price of admission is much more than he bargained for. Picture this. Hot mid-morning in Palm Springs, California. Behind drawn shades, a darkened motel room. <clears throat> Hello. Kirby? It's Lou. Sorry if I woke you, but we've got a problem. Oh, what time is it? Oh, come on, Lou. It's nine in the morning. I'm on my vacation, remember? I wouldn't have called unless it was an emergency. We need that carnival story for next week's issue. I thought you sent the kid to cover it. I did. That's the problem. Evans has disappeared. Nobody's heard from him since Tuesday. My editor's sense tells me he's in trouble. <sighs> Maybe he's stuck on the Ferris wheel, huh? Look, Kirby, why don't you take a leisurely trip to Indio and see if you can find him? Now, it's not far from Palm Springs. Get back to me as soon as you have something. Oh, and Kirby, don't you disappear. <laughs> not a chance, Lou. Goodbye. All right, come on, come on, come on, honey, and rise and shine. Oh, close the shades. It's too early to get up. Let's spend the whole day in bed. Uh, how about if we take in the carnival and spend the whole night in bed? The carnival? Yeah, you know, the merry-go-round, cotton candy, that whole... What are you talking about? But just get dressed. I'll explain on the way. Oh, right, us. Look at all the people. Step right this way, folks. Three rings for a quarter. Win a teddy for the little lady, mister. No, thanks. Uh... Kirby? Kirby West? Barney. Barney, what are you doing here? Working for a living. What's it look like? Hey, is this the wife? Yeah. No. <laughs> Same old Kirby. <laughs> Barney Best, meet Honey Ann Flowers. Yeah, pleased to meet you. How do you do, Mr. Best? Mr. Best? Say, Kirby, she's got class. You've got class. Hey, Barney, uh, hey, maybe you can help me out, huh? Looking for a friend of mine. Maybe you've seen him around. A kid about 25, tall, brown hair, got a skin condition. That's asking a lot. Take a look around. Every kid in the place fits that description. Well, he always wears a bow tie. Thinks it makes him look older. Yeah. I seen him yesterday. Huh? No, no, the day before. He played the rings, as a matter of fact. Asked a lot of questions. Uh, did you say he was a friend of yours? Now, what kind of questions? Hey, Kirby, it's me, That's Barney. That's why I'm asking. You're not a cop, are you? Kirby's a writer for Byline Magazine. No kidding. But it won't be for long if I don't find this kid Evans. Yeah, well, uh, look, you, your friend wanted to know about the setup. I mean, you know, how it works. We blow into town for a few days, people lose a few bucks, have a good time, go home and forget about it, right? No big swindle. What else? Nothing. Ah, you give me this card. Told me to get in touch if I had anything else to tell him. Oh, did you? No. Hmm. Seven Palms Motel Cabin 6. Can I keep this? Go ahead. I got no use for it. Oh, look, you mind if I just ask you one more question? Hey, buddy, this is the place. Yeah, right here. Had five winners this morning already. Yeah, you chump. Bunny, Bunny, who runs this show? Will you leave if I tell you? Oh, just send me on my way. Guy by the name of Rowan owns the outfit. But, but what? Yeah, throw these rings, will you? 
I never seen Braun. He keeps out of it. Fred and Pinky do the hiring and firing. <laughs> Pinky? Oh, look, where can I find him? Over by the funhouse ride. They got all the concessions around here. <laughs> Thanks, Barney. Honey, your friend Barney, he seemed a little nervous. Didn't he? Come in, mister. I see you're a winner already. This game's a cinch. All right, I'll go on time, Pinky. What? You talking to me? I'm Fred. Too bad, mister. Try again? Sure. Anything on the bottom row? Oh, get the Cupid doll. I've always wanted one. One Cupid for Mister. Uh, no, wait. Uh, do you have anything in a bow tie? What are you, a wise guy? All right, never mind. We'll take the Cupid. Thanks. Uh, let's go, honey. Ann. Well, where are we going? We're going to see about getting a room. Pinky. Hey, Pinky, come over here. Oh, 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 what's the take so far? Never mind that. There's a guy been snooping around. Oh, what guy? That one. The one with the blonde. See him? Uh, yeah. Ask me if we gave away bow ties. Uh, yeah? Gotta take care of it right away. He's not here. I didn't expect he would be. What are you doing? Evans was here. I'm certain of that. Well, how do you know? Well, for two reasons. Barney's card and that greasy desk clerk. A page was torn out of the register. I, I say somebody helped Evans pack. It's kind of a cute room, though, don't you think? Nice and clean. Yeah, it's, uh, it's too clean. I'm going to go take a look at the bathroom. Oh, the bed's so soft and roomy. Kirby, are we going to stay here for a while? No. <laughs> Come on, baby, put your shoes on. We're going. Let's go back to Palm Springs and lay around the swimming pool. Not just yet. I'll sew your button back on. I've got a needle and thread back at the room. Wait a minute, what button? Well, this one. Must have fallen off your shirt when you looked under the bed. Honey, Ann, you're a doll. This isn't my button. It's not a button at all. Well, what is it, then? It's the top of a plunger off a syringe. I think I know why Evans checked out early. Honey, we got to find that kid and fast. But where we look? And i got a hunch. We're going back to the carnival. No, you're not. <gasps> Kirby, he's got a gun. Yeah, I can see that. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, isn't it? You just got here. Why not stay a while? Uh, why not? If you both just sit on the bed there, we'll spend the afternoon together. Just the three of us. Uh, look, would you just, would you stop waving that thing around? Huh? I hate guns. They're liable to go off. Up against the wall, friend. Our guests aren't allowed to have weapons. I never carry one. A guy could get hurt that way. Please shut up and do like I tell you. <laughs> Come on. Will you cut that out? Take, I'm ticklish. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, you see what I mean? Please, don't shoot. I'm not part of it, really. Keep talking. It was that dame from the carnival made me do it. Her and that ape. They told me they'd be gone by tonight. That doesn't leave us much time. Uh, where did they take the kid who was here? Back to the carnival, I guess. I don't know, honest. Please don't kill me. Kill you? Are you kidding? I told you I hate guns. They're so loud. Oh, thank you. Another time. Do we take him with us? No, I just get in the way. Well, what are you going to do to me? Well, I, I, I could pistol whip you, but that's cruel. Uh, hmm, how about this? Oh, oh. Okay, we'll put him in the closet. Won't he wake up? I certainly hope so. He'll be so happy to be alive, he won't bother us. You think so? Uh, not really, baby. Come on, let's get out of here. My, it looks like Barney closed up his booth. Uh, sure does. That's too bad. I wanted to talk to him. Honey, uh, how'd you like another Cupid doll? Hmm. It looks like everybody's out to lunch. Well, if they're moving out tonight, I suppose they got to pack up. Everything else is open. 
Uh, you notice that too, huh? There's a, there's a great article here somewhere. If I could just figure out where, I, I, I think we might find Evans too. It's getting late, Kirby. I'm cold. Oh, come on, let's go on to the funhouse ride. At least it's indoors. All right, all right, all right. Here's the end of the line. Looks like you come out through those doors. Aren't those cute little cars? Let's get in a red one. I wonder if it's scary inside. You'll hold on to me, won't you, Kirby? Oh, honey, we're next. Wait, 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 wait. What is it? I just, I just saw something that's wrong. Come on, we got a red one. That's it. Slide over. Baby, we're gonna jump. Hold on to my hand. Here we go. Are you all right? Yes, but why? The carts, the carts. Look, when we were in line, I saw a kid with a beanie wearing a knapsack. He got into a red cart. Now, just before we got on, he came out in a blue one. So he must have jumped out like we did. But wow! I want to take a good close look in that knapsack. Of You're here. talking crazy. Well, I will see. How? It's so dark in here. Kirby, wait! Must be along this wall somewhere. Oh, Kirby, please, let's just go. I was right, baby. Ah! This panel slides. <gasps> Where are we? I don't know for sure, but... Whoops. Hey, mister. How about a nice bow tie? <laughs> the door, Pinky, and lock it. We've been expecting you. Yeah. Go get the stuff, Pinky. Rowan will be here any minute. Ever used stuff before, mister? All right, where's Evans? He's around. Got a real habit, that kid. Tracks all up and down his arms. Why, you... Hold it right there. Oh, great, more guns. Don't make me use this one. What are you going to do to us? Missy? You're going on a roller coaster ride. Way up and then way down. Hurry it up in there, Pinky! Uh, yeah, yeah. That's a clever operation you got going here, Fred. Playing small towns for the penny anti suckers and supplying hard drugs to dealers all along the line. Yeah, this is some fun house. Hard drugs? You mean heroin? Don't sound so surprised, Missy. You look like you got a few miles on you. Just what do you mean by that? Easy now. I don't like blonde. Kirby! I uh, got the two needles ready. How about the kid? He's sleeping like a baby. Tie off wise guy's arm here, Pinky. Who is it? Run. Pinky, unbolt the door. Mm. Barney! Sorry it had to end like this, old buddy. You're, you're ruined? Have been ever since my Navy discharge. Business reasons, you understand? You calling me Barney Best this morning caught me by surprise. I wish it hadn't been you, believe me. But I don't get... Why? I mean, why get involved in something like this? Simple. Money. I look, there are so many other ways, better ways. For a guy like you, maybe. God, don't give me that, Barney. Come on, I've had other jobs, miserable jobs with lousy pay. Same here. I hung around San Diego for ten years before this came along. And I tell you, life on the road stinks. This life stinks. Well, why not change? Ah, it's too late for that. Now, I know what I am. A couple more years, I can retire to a Mexican villa. Yeah, if you live a couple of more years. Let me worry about that. Hurry up, boss. We gotta move. All right. Finish what you started. Uh, what was that? Pinky, you told me the kid was out. Barney, Barney, don't. Now, look, we can get out of this jam, just like old times. No, Kirby, the old times are gone. Long gone. Shoot him up, Pinky. Use all of it. That'll kill him. Pinky, give me a hand in here. Uh, I'll fix him when I get back. Hurry it up. Uh, Fred. Move that hand and I'll blow it off. Sorry about your friend, too, but it's his own fault. How do you figure, Bunny? He played to win, and nobody wins at carnivals. Nobody. You might think about that yourself. Get it over with. 
I'll get the rest of the stuff. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Bernie. Aren't you going to stay and watch? Ever seen an overdose? It's quite a show. Could add a whole new dimension to the fun house. Don't preach at me. Nobody ever O'Days who doesn't want to. Some punk wants to kill himself, let him. I, I can't believe you mean that. Uh, what difference does it make? Uh, at this point, I don't know. Pinky! Yeah? Do it! Say goodbye, Missy. Kirby, no! Barney! <laughs> It's open. Hey, Kirby, my boy. Great story. A little long, but I can cut it. Oh, you're uh, not alone. Howdy, Ann. Meet Lou. He's the man who wrecked our vacation. How do you do? It's a pleasure. Kirby, tell me, where did you get the background information on Rowan? I'll just chalk it up to old times. What? Huh? Forget it. How's Evans? I just talked to the hospital where he's being detoxified. The kid's going to be fine. Well, I'm glad to hear somebody survived. The man and woman are going to pull through, too. Rowan was the one the narco boys were after. Mm. You know, what I can't figure is why that crooked motel clerk called the cops. Well, life's just full of surprises, Lou. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, we better be going. I've still got four days vacation coming. Ah, oh, take a whole week. You deserve it. Bye. Nice meeting you. Bye-bye, Lou. Say, uh, Kirby, hold on. Where can I reach you with... I'm Rod Serling. Close your eyes. Exercise your imagination. And join us again on our next presentation of The Zero Hour. Rice with Mission is an original radio drama by Kim Weiskopf. Mel Tomei was heard as Kirby West. Featured in the cast were Diane Hale, Sam Edwards, Bill Keen, Peggy Weber, and Luke Rubin. Zero Hour, created by J.M. Pullis, directed by Don Hills, is produced in Hollywood for the Mutual Broadcasting System. Radio Productions Incorporated.